Yo, what's up, man? It's your boy Sain. Thanks to everybody who's been supporting the videos. I really appreciate the comments. Uh, no comment is positive. No comment is negative because everybody has their own views. I just want to try to present the information as, I don't know, as it happens, as balanced as possible. While adding a little bit of my insight in there, throwing a little salt in there. But, um, yeah, I have a real good video for you guys today that I really think you'll like. Um, it seems that everybody's arguing about whether Manny Pacquiao deserves the accolades he's been getting. Is he really that much better of a boxer now? So I'm putting a video together for you guys called uh, Measuring Manny. Has Manny Pacquiao really gotten better as a boxer? We're about to find out. Instead of arguing, let's just take it to the tape and get a chance to look at the quality of the opponents that he's been fighting. Measure the quality of the opponents and look at how Manny has improved as a boxer himself. So sit back, relax. It's going to be a really good one, fellas. Check it out. All right, guys, the first step we're going to do is we have to establish a foundation before we get into this. So that way we won't jump back and forth between all these different fights. What we're going to do is establish one base so that we can say we can build everything from there. And where we're going to start with that base is going to be the 2008 fight with Juan Manuel Marquez, the second fight. Why are we using Juan Manuel Marquez? Because he's the only one to give Pacquiao a hell of a time in both his fights. He performed consistently against two versions of Manny Pacquiao. Then after that, trainer Freddie Roach said he wanted to wait a while before he let Manny Pacquiao face Marquez again so that he can get his skills up and sharpen a few, a few other areas where he was weak in. Well, they fought again in 2008, and Juan Manuel Marquez gave him a hell of a time again. So that's going to be our base where we're going to start from. We're going to look at Juan Manuel Marquez while he's fighting Manny Pacquiao to see what was so special about Juan, Mar uh, Juan Manuel Marquez. Why is everybody, you know, praising him so much for his performances against Manny Pacquiao and how Manny Pacquiao was performing? Now, I know a lot of you are saying, hey, look, man, Manny Pacquiao is a different fighter from that 2008 fight with uh, Juan Manuel Marquez. That's OK. What we're going to do is we're going to get into that and we're going to actually look at that and we're going to see if that's the case or not. We're going to look at the uh, quality of the opponents based on uh, based on Juan Manuel Marquez. Did they all come with the same type of skill set? Did they all have skills that was measurable up to the one man who gave Manny Pacquiao hell both times? So we're really going to get a chance to get into this thing so that we don't have to argue anymore. I guess it's not going to be an end all be all. There never is when it comes to sports fans. But the point of this is instead of us going back and forth on these comment boards, daydreaming about what we think uh, actually happened in the ring, let's take it to the video so we can look at it for ourselves. So let's jump right into it. We're going to start off with the second round because nothing really happened in the first round where we get right into the meat of the action so that we can look at both fighters in action and measure them accordingly. Let's get into it. Round two. First thing we notice is Marquez is not standing still. Contrary to popular belief, he's moving around. He's not on the heels of his feet. He's on the balls of his feet. Here we go. Manny Pacquiao is trying to get in there. And Juan Manuel Marquez is on the other side of the ring getting out of there. Constantly backpedaling. Waiting for him to come in so he can try to take a look, so he can try his counters on him because Manny Pacquiao is going to give him plenty of opportunities to counter. Constantly backpedaling, getting out of there. Good job. And see, this is one thing that makes it difficult to fight Juan Manuel Marquez. He can take, tailor his style to your style of offense. He knows that Manny Pacquiao is the type of guy who likes to bull rush and come on in with a strong barrage of attacks. And what he's doing is he's measuring him as he comes in and he's keeping a constant backpedal so he can set up his counters for him. They're all over this ring. They're just moving everywhere. Look at that. Constantly going. Very good. Very good. There it is. Backpedaled out of it again. What a nice little hop out bounce. Right there. Look for a counter. He missed it. But he's still in good position to get back on defense. Very good. So right there, what we're seeing here is good movement. And this is what Marquez was pretty much doing all night. Of course, both fighters aren't 100% disciplined all the time. They're, they're catching each other with great shots every now and then throughout the fight. But this is the basis of what makes Juan Manuel Marquez so special. Backing in and out. And so now Manny Pacquiao is not as motivated to just rush in because he understands that I can't just get anything easy on this guy. I have to measure him and take my time. That's okay. That's not, you know, it's, it's not anything, you know, to, to say that Manny Pacquiao is weak. And, you know, you just have to make adjustments in the fight. And that's what Manny Pacquiao is doing. He's being calm at this point. Juan Manuel Marquez is measuring him up very nicely. Nice attempt for the counter. Manny Pacquiao starting out just a little bit. Marquez is going to reset it and keep the body moving. Not being a stationary target, keeping his head moving on a swivel, 
Very good. And see, he tried to lunge in for that overhead, but Juan Manuel Marquez ducked it. A lot of opponents hadn't been doing that, hadn't been doing that to uh, to uh, Manny Pacquiao. That's what makes Juan Manuel Marquez so special. Just the simple things. And see, this has been a real common plastic round. It hadn't gotten out of control because Juan Manuel Marquez understands ring generalship, and that puts Manny Pacquiao on a string. Manny Pacquiao is getting out of position, still dropping that right hand after he delivers that left. That's still a problem for him today, and I'm going to show you that. Juan Manuel Marquez is just waiting to get an opportunity to measure and counter that. Still moving around, keeping his head moving. Duck that. Very good. Good job. Manny Pacquiao keeping his head moving. Juan Manuel Marquez fainting, giving him different looks with his punches. Looking for that overhand right still. Very good round. Mm -hmm. Caught him right there with the left because he's dropping that right hand. And there it is again. Just backpedaling and keeping it moving. That's the secret to Juan Manuel Marquez. That's what makes him so special. Okay, here we go. We've all seen this highlight a dozen times. But it's the reason why we're going over this is because it's, it's key and it's very simple. Pacquiao doing his normal three-hit combo. Marquez just backing away from it. He's just backing away from it. And as he's backing away from it, nice inside left hook, right hook over the top. Then finishing off with a left hook because Manny Pacquiao is constantly getting himself out of position and dropping his right hand. This is what makes Juan Manuel Marquez so special. It seems like something that's very simple, but you'll be surprised the amount of boxers that just don't do it. That's what you call a great technical fighter. You know, he have a guy with name Manny Pacquiao who has a lot of energy. He likes to bull rush and come forward with a lot of great punches and activity. But you know what you can do to get around that? Simply backpedal it and throw great counters on the inside. That's all you got to do. Now here we go in the third round here. Marquez moving around still, keeping his back foot, his back foot loose. Manny Pacquiao at this point is very calm and very measured because of the simple because of the mo uh, the movement that Marquez is making. Think about it. Look at how how much they're moving all over this ring. Not Manny Pacquiao, but the both of them together. Just look at how much the both of them are moving. You're going to see a night and day difference when we look at the other six opponents that Manny Pacquiao has faced since Juan Manuel Marquez. And what we're trying to show you here is, you know, we're we're so quick to say that Manny Pacquiao has improved, which he has. He has improved as a boxer. That is true. But when you look at the opponents and how stationary they are, as Manny Pacquiao is just dancing around them and moving forward, they have no answer for these things. This is what separates some boxers from the others. Juan Manuel Marquez is doing the simplest thing possible. Changing up his attacks, as you saw there, he uh, landed a nice right hand. Switching up uh, his attacks, when he throws out the jab, he pulls the jab back very fast to get back into a defensive position. You're going to notice how these other six fighters don't do anything like that as well. That's the biggest difference between Juan Manuel Marquez, and this is why we're lobbying for Juan Manuel Marquez, Manny Pacquiao, uh, third fight. He's just a different class of fighter. No, he's not as strong as Pacquiao. He's not as electric. He doesn't jump around. But he's technically sound. Very technically sound. You see, he's keeping it moving. Ducked under the left-hand lunge. That Pacquiao still does to this day. Whereas other guys like Cotto would have gotten hit with it. And I'll show you that very soon. Ah, oh, headbutts are so unfortunate. They happen to everybody. Bring him right back in together. No, <laughs> okay. So that's what we're talking about. So look at him. He's constantly backpedaling just a little bit, not out of fear, but because you know that when Manny Pacquiao comes in, he's going to give you two, three opportunities to counter him. That's the reason why. You have no reason really to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with him if you're not as fast as him. So I'm not trying to over oversimplify this and just say, oh, simply if you backpedal, you can go ahead and beat Manny Pacquiao. No, that's not the case at all. The point that I'm making is that's one of the ways that you begin to set up your counter punching. That's exactly how you do it. See how he's backpedaling right there, looking for that counter over the top? That's, that's the reason why this fight was much more difficult for Pac-Man. pac, -Man. pac still having very great head movement. Very great head movement, showing a lot of energy, has a lot of springiness. He's getting in and out. He's going to knock him down because he's going to hit him just with a great left-hand hook on the inside. It's going to come around a 13-second mark. Pacquiao is pretty much getting frustrated at this point. You can see he's pressuring the fight a little bit more. Boom, and there it is. Nice shot on the chin. Don't think that hurt Marquez that much. I think it just caught his ass off balance. Really great shot. And he actually would have gone down again if it had not been for the ropes. You'll see here in just a moment. 
But this is what I'm talking about when I said discipline. Not everybody's 100% disciplined all the time. But if you were to stick to your guns, you know, you probably won't get put in a situation like that. There he is to grab the ropes. So that's exactly what we're talking about. This is some of the keys to success and the keys to victory um, that he used when he was facing Manny Pacquiao. And this is the reason why he came out the way he did. So what we're going to do now is we're going to jump over to the fourth round. We're not going to look at everything in the fourth round. But the point is we're going to show how Juan Manuel Marquez reestablished control of the fight in the fourth round by continuing to move around continuing to keep the fight in the center of the ring or even on the side of the ring whichever way but he's continuing to back up and give Pacquiao a mobile target you're gonna have to chase me and when you chase me and you extend your arms to try to get these punches in me I'm sorry not me but Juan Manuel Marquez is good enough to counter you that's what we're talking about and right here you can see this replay Trying to trade on inside, Manny Pacquiao threw a shorter, crisper left-hand hook that really didn't have a whole hell of a lot of power behind it. You see, he didn't turn his body too, too much, but he caught him good and off balance and laid him down right there on the ground. You know what? Juan Manuel Marquez is like Rocky. Everybody's knocking this man on the ground, right? So we're going into the fourth round here, as we can see. As we're going into the fourth round here, we can see these two guys are still posturing. Now look at the differences in attacks that, Juan, uh, that Marquez is going to give them. Marquez is not going to throw the same punches all the time. Right hand leads, left hand leads. Constantly backpedaling. You see they're moving all over this ring. This is a totally different fight from the other six fights that Manny Pacquiao has been having recently. And we'll be looking at those in just a moment. Manny Pacquiao still trying to solve and get a chance to come in. Juan Manuel Marquez trying for his counters. Counter left hand over the top. Counter left hand over the top again. Oh, <laughs> nice move. Manny Pacquiao's feeling his rhythm just a little bit more. He's trying to push the fight, but Juan Manuel Marquez won't let him simply because he's backpedaling. Just the simplest thing more you can do, and you're controlling Manny Pacquiao. And you're going to see a huge night and day difference when we go to the other fighters uh, that he's been fighting recently. You're going to see a huge difference. Very good, Manny Pacquiao. Got a couple shots in there. Still trying to find a way to get in. Manny and Juan Manuel Marquez is all over the ring. Once again, look at it. These guys are all over this ring. Constantly backing up. And I'm constantly backing up because Manny Pacquiao is going to give me plenty of opportunities to counterpunch him. I have no need to really try to rush this guy. But every now and then, Juan Manuel Marquez will throw something and it's going to catch him off guard. Just like right there. Changing up his rhythm. Not a whole lot of head movement from uh, Juan Manuel Marquez. But because he's backpedaling... He's not as easily in reach to uh to Pacquiao. Right there. Caught him there because he's trying to <laughs> trying to catch him in a corner. Nice flurry. Juan's pressing the fight every blue moon just to change up his mode of attack. And this is keeping the fight very interesting because he's not trying to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. Because frankly speaking, he doesn't have the power that Pacquiao has. There's no pride involved. If I have a boxer in the ring and I'm a manager, I'm going to say to him straight forward, Hey, look, man, we're not as strong as he is. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to backpedal him since he likes to come forward. And we're going to counter him. And just like that, when he throws that lunging left hand, we're going to duck right under. We're not going to give him an opportunity to get off. And that's exactly what Juan Manuel Marquez does. Oh, I'm tired of saying this man's whole name. I'm saying Marquez from now on. <laughs> Yeah, so here we go. Thirty. Uh, here we go with uh, thirty-two seconds left in the round. Great head moving by Pacquiao. Marquez still keeping it moving. Nice counter on the inside right. And see, Pacquiao's on a swivel. He doesn't necessarily know exactly how he should try to rush and attack this guy because Marquez is not presenting that many openings because he's constantly moving, constantly moving. This is the reason why we praise Marquez so much. And the round is coming to a close. Very good round. And that's pretty much how the fight's been going back and forth, you know, throughout the rest of the, day, uh, the night. Um, Manny Pacquiao constantly trying to find a way to get in, trying to find a way to get in. Marquez backpedaling, saying, you know what? If you want a way in, if you want a way in, you're going to have to earn your way in. And when you come with those one, two, three hit lunging combos, I'm going to left, right, left you on the counters. And uh, you're going to see right now how the other fighters, when they're facing Manny Pacquiao, how they don't do the same thing. And that's going to make you wonder. I mean, is it really that much of a difference? And, uh, you know, you know, the competition level, I'm sorry, the competition level that Manny Pacquiao is facing right now is nothing compared to what he had with Juan Manuel Marquez. Now we're going to get to the fun stuff. We're going to look at some of the fighters that Manny Pacquiao has recently faced 
and we're going to compare those fighters' skill sets with what we saw with Juan Manuel Marquez. Let's get to it. 